I mean, you know, we're, we're all here for the same reason. We all love boxing. We all love the sport. But of course, things are much bigger than boxing. You know, this the trouble that Tyson's had with yeah. his child the last few weeks. It's much bigger. So it almost feels a bit strange and a bit, you know, a bit off to talk about boxing. But I guess, you know, uh, this fight is happening on October the 9th, having been delayed um you know, two or three times mm. now. Um, is, is your feeling that it is going to go ahead now, as planned? As long as the baby comes out of this all okay and things go normally, yes. But let me tell you this much. Nobody could expect a boxing match to go on in times like this. You know, because family's family, business is business, sport, sport. But when it comes down to family, they're the first and foremost at the front of the queue. And without family, you can't function right. You know, so... Your family's got to be intact because if you're an happy family man, you know things are right at home, you're going to perform right yourself. You know, I'm his daddy's here now. I don't care what those people say and what they don't say. If problems persist, we will cancel a fight. I'll cancel a fight because nobody would expect it, you know, to people to perform under these duress circumstances. So we know what we're doing. We want to fight Wilder and hopefully... He gets his daughter back home. Everything runs smoothly. We start camp, I think, on the 14th or 15th. And let's just see where we go. But if it's not right, it's not right. And I'm not like those people in America who will force the issue. Because I don't care about nobody. When it comes down to my children and my grandkids and stuff like that, immediate blood kind, they come first. You know, I said to him last night, it's only a boxing match. Let people wait. You go when you're ready, not when they go. You know, they work for you, not the other way around. You're the best in the world. You're the champion. We want to keep winning. We don't want to make any mistakes. And we don't want to start training under duress stress. It can't be done. I wouldn't allow it anyways, his dad. wouldn't allow it. And he's in England now. He's not in the devil's playground now. He's at home. What's good, family? So mash the like button and subscribe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here's a whole bag of dons who are mad right now. Oh. Oh, why be? But no. Oh, oh no, why be? Oh, he won't pull out. Oh, oops. <laughs> what I tell you, man? What I tell you? Now I can't lie. Put my hands in the air. I thought it was gonna be the long C19. Nonetheless, the YB told you, man, way back when, way when Scary pulled out the first time on July 24th, he is gonna pull out again. I don't wanna hear nothing about nothing. Now because of because of this situ because of the sensitive situation YouTube is. I'm not going to go into specifics as to the reason they're alleging they're pulling out. All I know is, I don't believe it. Or whatever, you know what, however you need to justify it to yourselves, I don't care. How about that? Because for me, I told you, he was going to find a way not to turn up on October 9th. So whatever, you know what I'm saying, people forget, oh but why be, you know, it's, it's this particular reason, it's that particular reason. Listen, how about this? Let me tell you, man, something right now. Yeah? What do we know? Well, but why be, mate? You said it was going to be long C19. Listen, it was going to be long C19, but guess what? Your man's the YB got his foot out and stepped his size 9 feet, yeah, his baby looking ass feet, all upside the C19 narrative. Yeah? Got squashed. MTK was sick. MTK, ever since the YB squashed. The goofy C19, fake C19 narrative, yeah? You best believe the MTK, El Trapahan, Tyrone Booth's main man, yeah? Tyrone Booth's daddy has been up there, they've been stressed 100% for the last 3-4 weeks ever since the YB crushed the fake C19 looking ass narrative. The script writer Donny, the script writer Donny has been working hard for weeks. YB, what do you mean working hard? Working hard on what? <laughs> working hard on a new narrative, because they can't... <laughs> like I said, the C9, the fake C, the fake looking ass C19 narrative is done, it's cooked. It's exposed, and they know it. We all saw them flip-flopping. I mean, even the best Fury lovers have to admit, that C19 thing was cooked. They was flip-flopping, oh no, no, he cleaned that, oh no, he did... Oh, listen, in fact, you know what, just quickly, before we go on. Let me give you, man, my favourite timeline, yeah? On the Wednesday, oh, football's coming, oh, it's coming, oh. Giving it all out on the Wednesday. On the Thursday, he was <laughs> on death's door, touch and go, 
Fish Eye, Fish Eyes Warren and John Fury talking about his touch and go. You know, we weren't sure if he was going to pull through on the first day. What? Your man was chanting on a Wednesday night. The first day morning, you're talking about not going to make... Yeah? Like I said, let me give you man a timeline right now. Wednesday, he would he would chant in. Thursday, he was sick. Saturday, he was all in the casino. And then Monday, he was clean again. So, or he was testing negative. Because obviously, they had to backtrack from all the pictures that came out. And not one, uh, not one point in that whole week, yeah, did, they, did he actually exhibit any behaviour that remotely resembled actual sickness. Not even a little bit. Then he had a mask on. He was, <laughs> he was out here loosey-goosey. Yeah? That's what he was, was. Loosey-goosey. No doubt. Now, I'll give you that timeline to, to, to remind you, man, of how sloppy they went out. They went out sloppy, and they, and they know it. I mean, it was just... MTK, from what I'm hearing, MTK had to get a big pot of money out to keep all of these newspapers pacified, because it was that bad, the newspapers were about to start running the story, but then, obviously, MTK got his hand in his pocket. Had a drop of hand, started pacifying all of the newspapers, because they was, listen, the story was too blatant. Even these sloppy, lazy newspaper journalists were about to leak it, or were about to drop the information that Tyson Fury lying. And by the way, any of you goofy Tyson Fury fans out there who still think he had C-19, all I have to say to you, man, is one thing. One thing only. Show me one piece of evidence that is irrefutable that Lyson Fury was actually sick. <laughs> Oops. Show me one. Not two. Not three. Just show me one. One will do. I'll take one. Not... Oh, but why be? He said it on Instagram. <laughs> wow. You man of dopey. You sheepledons are down bad. <laughs> no doubt. That's what you are down. Yeah? Show me one. Like I said, not two. Show me one piece of evidence he was sick. Not this sick, actually. Show me one of anything. Show me anything that meant he... Show me anything, yeah, that justifies him not turning up to July 24th. And we'll talk from there. You man ain't got nothing. How about that? That's what you ain't. <laughs> that's what you ain't got. Nothing. Yeah. You ain't got nothing. So don't give me that about the C19 business. He didn't have it. So now you know. I've gone a long way around. Well, not a long way. I've gone a deep way around to get a new man to understanding where this new narrative come from. Because that last one was cooked. The YB cooked it too bad. It was roast, honey roasted. The YB's favourite. Yeah, that C19 narrative was looking like a big honey roasted leg of gammon. Yeah, simple as that. Honey roasted. So this, the MTK scriptwriter has been posted up. He ain't seen a bit of daylight. He's been in there thinking of what's next, and boom, perfect opportunity. Yeah, wicked. Let's wheel this one out. Cause even I mean I'm not being funny. Even the channels who was calling out the other one. No one ain't calling this one out, and it's fair play to them. I kind of tip my hat to an extent because I think, well, for all of the all of the sheep or all of the borderline sheep or channels, oh yeah, well, I'm telling you, too obvious. Because yeah, the way well, like, I'm not being funny, yeah. The fight's eight weeks away. Now, do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You man can decide. For me, just crack on. How about that? Crack on. But, but you don't need, oh, the f everyone needs to understand, John, you said this the last time. Oh, there's no word of a lie, John Fury said, when Tyson Fury pulled out, yeah, he said, oh, there's no way people can expect him to fight when he's, when he's got C-19. That's what he said. And now he's saying the same thing again, so I'm thinking, so when do you actually fight then? Not being, for, you know what I'm saying? Because so you can't fight then, you can't fight now, so when do you fight? Because people are confused now, it's been two years. And like I said, you know, you know ultimately, yeah. Ultimately, I'm not even going to get into the politics of the reasons or whatever else. For now, all I care about is the WBC needs to come out and say, Fury, and this is what I said back in C9, back in um, July. Back in July, I said, what should have happened is the WBC should have come out and said, Fury, you know what? You're right. You don't need to fight. You super sick. We'll take the belt, and when you're ready, you can come back and defend it. We're moving on. See you later, because you're super sick. You're so sick, you don't need this belt. How about that? Isn't it? 
You are so, you're super, super sick. You're super duper sick. You're so sick. The belt, you don't need it. <laughs> How about that? Isn't it? Think about it. If you're sick here, what do you, what do you need a belt for? <laughs> don't make no sense. That's, <laughs> that's contradictory. Especially that kind of belt. What would a man who's super sick have anything to do with a heavyweight boxing belt? Isn't it? I don't know about you, man, yeah, but if I'm super sick, the last thing I want to do is step in the ring with a big heavyweight for a heavyweight championship fight. Therefore, you don't need a belt because you're sick. And again, this same thing applies now. John Fury has just said, oh, there's no way anyone could expect him to fight. Well, you're right. <laughs> don't fight. But what you don't do is, if you're so, oh, it, it, family comes first, and if family comes first, you're right. <laughs> you don't need a belt, do you? Because take your family and go take your, as much time as you want. Again, I'm not going to get into the politics of the reason they've alleged. Like I said, good for you. Take your family and stop holding the sport up. Because all of your fans who want to sit there and circle jerk off about your particular reason you've given, circle jerk. Go, for, go. For, you know what I'm saying? Go for it. I'm all for circle jerking over things you want to circle jerk over. But the, the sport must move on. Otherwise, what are we doing here? What is this? The, the family show order, isn't it? What is this then? Ha, ha, I'm sure a, a sp there's an old saying: the show must go on. And that's the show, never mind the sport, never mind the institution of boxing. Otherwise, what we, what we might as well do is let every belt holder just say, well, I've got family problems, let's just all sit around. Which, to be fair, most of them are doing that to some level, for some reason. They're just sitting around not fighting. So I'm not even really blaming the fighters because it's the, it's the institution of boxing and, the, and the, the governing or the alleged governing bodies who, who allow it. This never should be the case. And what must happen now, but it's not going to happen. I'll tell you why the WBC aren't going to strip Fury. Number one, obviously politically. Politically, if they couldn't strip him for C-19, <laughs> you know there's no way they're going to strip him for this latest reason. <laughs> no way. So that's never going to happen, is it? Realistically. But even, second, um, even secondarily speaking, they ain't going to strip him. Because, guess what? MTK are lining... Maurizio Suleiman's pocket and we already saw the way he was kissing on Wilder's neck aka he fruity and you best believe him El Trapahan Tyrone <laughs> they have some freaky deaky thing going on they have some freaky deaky sessions from what I'm hearing no doubt yeah they'd be the freakiest in, in fact well, I've, heard, I've even heard Wilder comes through as well you know what they're like <laughs> you can just imagine what Wilder twerking and Tyrone and all their man get together it's, it's the freaky deakiest now, but anyway, let's move on. Listen. You know what? Before I go, let me read through what some of the wording John Scary had to say. Because the wording is, is specific. And it it needs to be run through. So let's go from the tump. Let's go from the jump. So from the jump here, the interview Don says... And it, <laughs> do you know what the worst thing is? The worst thing is... Is that... The way... The interview Donna, oh sorry, the way the interview Donny poses this question, it wasn't even a question, it was more of a statement. And again, listen to it carefully, how he says it. How he words this, he, like, even he, as a BT shill, as a Team Fury shillier, yeah, even he, it didn't even cross his mind that Fury wouldn't be fighting on October 9th. Even for the BT shills, they fought... Surely there's no way Fury is going to pull out again. Because he said, surely the fight's happening. He, he, he goes, he goes, no way ever lie, yeah? The, in, the interviewer Don goes, and you heard it, you can hear it, listen to it again. The interviewer Don goes, yep, we know family's extremely important, but surely this fight's happening on October 9th, isn't it? And John Fury replies and says, yeah, well, you know, as long as things go normally... And then he, shortly after that, he says, and I already knew it at that point. When I heard John Fury, John Scary say, as long as things go normally, I thought, oh no, here we go. Because that, that, what you notice about every kind of line, every, every sentence John Scary puts together, it's constantly undermined. I'm not sure what you'd call it. I'm sure there's some English language pros out there who would know what this thing is. But every time he says something, like for example, as long as things go normally... That in itself is a negative statement. It should be a simple... The man's asked you, 
The fight's happening on October 9th, isn't it? Guess what? Guess what most... Guess what everyone should be saying to that question? Uh, yes, because guess what? <laughs> it didn't happen last time. It didn't happen last time. So what do you mean? If things go normally, no, turn up. Or, don't... Don't... What's the word? Don't string the fans along for another eight weeks and then pull out a week before. Like I said... Go and be with your family and give the belt up right now. Don't emotionally blackmail the sport because you've found a nice little narrative to push. Don't be doing that. I know you will because you ain't got no shame. The same way you was wheeling out the fake C19 thing. And the fact you're peddling this now is just, for me, an all-time low. But there you go. Yeah? you got people raising money for... You've right you got, you got millionaires raising money... Where's all your rich millionaire, billionaire, fake mates at, innit? Why are you, why are you hustling the, the working classes for when you've got, when you man love to stunt on Instagram with your Bentleys and your Rolls Royce, why don't you get you some of that Bentley and Rolls Royce money, innit? Why are you begging donations from the working middle classes for, oops? Go and ring, we, we all saw the picture with you and Beckham, go and ring billionaire Beckham up and get him to put his hand in his own pocket. Oops. Oh, what? No one didn't want to say that. I'll say it. No problem. Yeah? I'm sick of seeing all these famous people all in the video, all on Instagram, looking all sharp with a Versace shirt unbuttoned. But then, you, but then you're trying to raise money for you. Where's your, where's your big Mr. Millionaire money at? <laughs> what do you need our money for? Anyway. Where was it? Let's get, where was I? Let's get back to this. <coughs> He said, as long as things go normally, and then he says, no one can expect a boxing match to go on at times like this, when it comes down to family. Wow, no one can expect a boxing match. Uh, I'll tell you now, 90, everyone who isn't a Tyson Fury show is expecting that fight to go on. Or, like I said, give the belt up right now and say, listen guys, Family's too important for me. Family's first. I'm going to relinquish my belt because I've bottled it four times in a row now. I'm stepping away. No one's going to argue with that. No one's going to argue with that. In fact, at this point, I respect you more because I know what's coming. What's coming is you're going to drag it out another six months. And I told you this was coming. This fight ain't going to happen until 2022. Next year, like this time next year, it, this time next year they'll be talking about this fight happening, 100%. This time next year, they'll be talking about this fight happening. Because I'm sure they've got someone else up their sleeve to, to, to wheel out. Next thing John Scary says. Without family, you can't function. Without family, you can't function right. I don't care what people say. If problems persist, I'll cancel the fight. No one would expect expect him to perform under these conditions. Hopefully we fight wilder, but let's see how it goes. Kin comes first. I say let the people wait. They work for you. You're the champion. Don't train under distress. <laughs> wow. I mean I've summed up I've summed up the bottom line for this video already, but just listen to the language there. I didn't hear nothing about you know what? Fury, Tyson's a true champion, and he's going to use that as his fuel. Did you hear any of that? Because I'm, I'm not being funny, yeah? We heard all the Spartan talk. We heard all the talk. I didn't, I didn't hear no Spartan talk. All I heard was setting the scene, setting the narrative. That's all I heard. What happened to, you know what, I'm going to take this energy and use it to push Wilder's wig back. That's what, I, that's what I'd call a Hall of Fame attitude. I wouldn't call it, I'd call this, well, this for me is just a bottom attitude, to be fair. Oh, well, we're going to drag this one out, and hopefully things don't go well, so we can drag it out some more. That's all I heard. All I heard was a bunch of scene setting, a bunch of narrative and scene setting, setting everyone up so it's not a shock when this fight don't happen. That's all I heard. I didn't hear one bit of optimism. I didn't hear one bit of... You know what? This fight can happen. It was all neg. It was all scene setting. Every single piece of it, and it's shocking, because it's like you're not even you're not even trying to get this fight on, isn't it? Which is again, which is fair enough. Guess what? If 
you don't want to even try a little bit. Fair enough, yeah, no one could, well, I'd probably still knock you, but no one can really knock you if you tried, and you, in it, you tried, but I just couldn't get my head together. Fair enough, but you ain't even trying. You're just writing it off, which again, is fine. But guess what? If you're going to write it off eight, eight, nine weeks away, if you're going to write this fight off, which is nine weeks away, what you need to do is do it now. And say, this fight's a write off, and I'm giving my belt up because I'm too written off. Don't be doing all this, all in the video, all talking loud and deep on the Instagram, knowing that you're just about to pull out. Because you enjoy being a hard ass, swanning around with your belt. Don't be doing that, ain't no one trying to watch that. Apart from a few goofy fans, ain't no, ain't no one else trying to watch it. Not even a little bitch, not even a little bit are they trying to watch. Yeah? So John Scary, what you need to do is worry about Mickey Theo, really, but you know what, that's for another day. This is shocking. I hate to say I told you so. <laughs> Listen, I hate to say I told you so. There's a whole bag of man. A whole bag of man. Who are sick right now. Oh, but why be, mate, you know? Why be, mate? He's not going to pull up. Oops. <laughs> you, man, are sick right now. And you've got a face full as well. Why be, mate? You're a bit sus. Why be, ain't sus? You, man, are crispy. How about that? <laughs>